Michigan's new auto insurance law changes several things about how your auto insurance works, and the Michigan Department of Insurance and Financial Services, or DIFS, is here to help you understand those changes. One of the more prominent changes is how your medical bills are paid if you are hurt in an auto accident. There are six PIP medical coverage levels available to you. These limits represent the most a driver's auto insurance company will pay per person per accident for an injured person's expenses. Your choices are unlimited coverage, up to $500,000 in coverage, up to $250,000 in coverage, up to $250,000 in coverage with PIP medical exclusions, up to $50,000 in coverage for Medicaid participants, and there's also a PIP medical opt-out for named insureds with Medicare Parts A and B. Please note that some of the choices have qualifications that you need to meet before you can make that choice. The new law requires that auto insurance companies and agents give policyholders a form, approved by DIFFS, that describe the benefits and risks of the coverage options. To make your new PIP choice, you'll need to fill out this form, and here are a few tips on how to do that. First, note that the sample form you see here may not look exactly like the form that your company or agent gives you. The form you get may look a little different than the one you see here, but it must have all of the required information, such as available coverage choices and the risks and benefits. It's important that you carefully read and understand the form before filling it out. The first page of the form contains detailed information about PIP coverage, and it also tells you how the form is arranged and provides definitions of some key terms used. You should make sure that the information in the top boxes is filled out correctly before proceeding. Section A of the form lists all of the six options I mentioned before and also goes into detail about the qualifications, risks, and benefits of each choice. Please note that the risks and benefits are different for each choice, so you should read and understand all of them before making your choice. Section B of the form is where you make your PIP coverage limit choice. It's important that you write your initials next to one, and only one, of the options available to you. If you choose option 4, make sure to list the names and dates of birth for any person you are excluding from coverage. In Part C, you are required to initial the form in four places, once beside each of four sentences which detail that you understand the choice you are making and how it applies to you. Finally, at the bottom, you'll need to sign and date the form in the spaces provided. Please note that if you don't fill out a form to make a PIP choice, your policy will be issued with unlimited coverage as the default and you'll pay the premium associated with unlimited coverage. The new law is changing a lot about the way auto insurance works in Michigan. For more information, check out our other videos on the changes to bodily injury coverage and to the law as a whole. If you need help understanding this form, give DIFFS a call at 833-ASK-DIFFS and an auto insurance specialist will be happy to assist you.